Time to change the fuel filters. Access to the fuel filters is really easy. I'll be doing this on a crew cab model. It should be in a similar location on the extended cab or single cab model. So on the left hand side or driver's side of the vehicle, underneath the back door here, let me try to get the camera angle just right, I'm using a cell phone camera here. On the inside of the frame rail, in line with that back door, is the housing where the filters are. So I don't have the vehicle jacked up or anything else like that. I'm simply on the ground underneath it with my cell phone camera on a small tripod. So the angle is a little bit awkward, but you can see here's a cutout in the housing to access the two filters. I've got an oil pan underneath here just to catch the excess fuel. And in the middle between the two filter caps is a yellow tab sticking out our lever here. You want to turn it counterclockwise. This is to relieve the pressure on the system. Since this has never been done, that's a little bit tight. Let me see if I can get it with a rag. Sometimes you can get a little bit more grip. Nope. All right. I'm going to try my Leatherman Wave. Now I really don't recommend putting some pliers on this because it could snap off. But I'm going to use a little bit of pressure there and just turn it slightly just to get it started. There. Now I can turn it counterclockwise by hand. Should be getting some fuel out of here. There we go. And it stays in place. It's got a blue O-ring around it. And the diesel fuel is dripping out into the pan. I'm simply just going to dump this in with my recycle oil. I get gasoline and carb cleaner and things like that in with it. It's not a big deal. So I like the fact that it stays in place there. So you don't lose it. A few minutes later... So a lot more diesel came out than I thought, but I've got all the pressure out of the lines. Now, if I just took these off, there could be excessive resistance because of the pressure, but really more, it's just gonna splash everywhere. So that was a lot of, of diesel, but now that I've got the pressure off the system, I can go ahead and just thread this back in clockwise, make sure I don't cross thread it. I like the fact that it's got that blue o-ring I can see it right there and diesel makes a pretty good lubricant so I don't have to worry about lubing the o-ring I've got it hand tight good to keep that rag handy now I've got my half inch ratchet with my one and an eighth socket let's just see if I can loosen up this filter with it not having any issues make sure this pan is positioned right over there and yeah, probably gonna get a little bit of splash here I think I can take it out by hand the rest of the way yep just grab the hex with the thumb and forefinger see there's a little bit of diesel dripping out It's just spinning free now so give it a yeah there we go a little bit of a tug and a twist now see here here's a factory filter this is the first filter change for this truck this is this is from the factory and it's got a blue o-ring on it now you can see the filter is dark gray so four percent filter life yeah it's uh it's ready to be changed let me get the new one off camera I took some automatic transmission fluid and just rubbed it here on the outside of the o-ring here at the base of the filter where the cap is. I made sure not to get any automatic transmission fluid on the filter element itself. 
Uh, it's just a lubricant for the O-ring to make it a little bit easier to take off next time. I probably could have just used diesel fuel as a lubricant as well. I'm simply just going to slide that up in there. It lines right up on that center hole on the top cap, and I should be able to spin it with no effort by hand. Yep, now it's snug, so let's go ahead and take the half-inch ratchet with the one and eighth socket. Now there may be a torque value for this, but I'm just going to turn it till it's snug. Yep, just like that. Just a, just a tad more. Not enough to crack it or break it, anything like that. Now, for the other filter, I'll go ahead and switch out to the 27 millimeter. Both of the filter elements are sitting on a clean shop rag, making sure not to get any dirt or any other contaminants on there. And I made sure that I wiped the automatic transmission fluid off, off my finger with a uh, rag so I didn't touch anything and contaminate it. Now this 27 millimeter does grip a little bit better and this is a standard lens socket whereas the other is a, a deep well sometimes having that deep well is good because you can get a little bit extra purchase on the socket but in this case because there's there's less space to work with this this standard depth socket works a little bit better but if you don't have a 27 millimeter and you happen to have a, a one and an eighth it will work now that i got it loose i can just spin this by hand See a little bit of diesel dropping in there. That's why I kept the oil pan in place. And just a wiggle and a tug and it comes right out, right? Once again, blue O-ring and the uh, filter element is a gray color. So it's time. It's definitely time. Just grab the new one by the hex, slide it up in there, it'll line up, it should, there we go. I got a little resistance at first, that's why I pulled it back out, the second time there it lined right up, should just spin clockwise, till about right there and it stops. Go ahead and reverse the ratchet. Yeah, with my thumb and forefinger, I can spin this. Yeah, it's not up in there all the way. I gotta push it up some. There we go. All right, now it's spinning. And just like with the other, get enough resistance there. Just give it a slight, that's just a little bit more effort. That's it, nothing more, don't wanna damage it. Everything's good to go. So that's quite a bit of diesel that came out when I had to relieve the pressure. When I've done this before, I haven't had to do it downstream, I guess you could say, of the uh, system. So I haven't had to deal with this much diesel coming out. I think if I had to do this again, seeing how this is the first time I've done this filter change on this truck, but not the first time I've changed a, a fuel filter water separator on a diesel, if I had to do this again, I would use a clean pan and reuse the diesel. In this case it's simply just going to go in with my used motor oil and get recycled. It'll be just fine. You can see how filthy these filters are. Now there's only one thing left to do. Alright, let's put the key to run. Fuel pump should charge the system. Apply the brake. Let's start the engine. So the fuel pump's a little bit loud right now probably just dealing with getting some air out of the system take it take some time to work itself out 
Really what I'm looking for with the system under pressure is any leaks. They'd be fairly obvious. There's no leaks. This is good to go. All right, the next thing I have to do is reset the fuel filter life. I just hit the right arrow here on the right side of the steering wheel and that will bring me to I for information. There's a little check mark underneath the 4% there for reset. So the check mark is on the same keypad here in the center. Just push that. It says, are you sure you want to reset? It defaults to no on the left hand side. So you hit the right arrow to default to yes and then hit the check mark in the center and nothing happened. It might have given me some issues on that because the engine was running. I shut it off. Let me put the key to the run position here and hey what do you know there it is 100% on the fuel filter life. So I guess all I had to do is just reset it. Now you might get some excessive noise from the, the fuel pump. Don't worry about that. Everything will be just fine. But it's fairly easy to change out the fuel filters on this. You might have to buy a socket of a different size than you normally would have. And the fuel filters aren't cheap. I don't know what a shop would charge to do this, but it's very easy work. You can do it right there in your driveway. You don't have to jack up the vehicle or anything else. If you've already got an oil pan for doing oil changes, and a few other odds and ends, there's really nothing to it. Thanks for watching.